Sweet Ninja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 8 of Toy the Van Hanukkah Coons. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. It is so weird to, like, come back after a big thing and then, like, go immediately back into the stuff. I was asleep literally almost all day today, and I just, like, ooh. I woke up, like, Seven thirty going on eight at night, and I was just like, "Oh God!" I was like, "I slept for the rest of the damn day," and I was like, "Well, that's okay. I needed to sleep because we didn't leave um, the hotel till about ten, and then came home, slept, and then I had to we had to return the car, and then came back home, slept again." But it was fine. I'm glad that I was able to take a little mini vacation. And thank God I just only missed two shows rather than missing. I think like one time I missed four to six shows and bruh, that's just so fucking stressful. Two shows are okay, but when it's four to six and you're like, uh, and you're getting, you're still getting back in your routine and stuff after being gone for so long, and I come back and you're just like, I really don't want to do this. <laughs> I still have some other things that I'm going to get done, but I have to wait till this weekend. <laughs> oh, my baby! Oh my god! Hi, honey! Yes! <laughs> God, you were just so fucking cute. Oh my god. Why did you want to take a picture of me? God, I love him. He's so cute. <laughs> oh. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> 
You know, what are your names? Oh. You remember? Oh. Fucking crying, oh my god. Because you were different? Yeah. I get that. But, because there's always a but. That's why Cole is barely really remembering you now. <laughs> oh my I shift these two, oh my god. I can't, my heart. No, come on, baby. Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. It's possible. Literally, this week in a nutshell has been nothing but beat boys love, and I fucking love it. Chronicle? No! Uh-uh, oh, it's his brother.
परिचित आम Oh, so basically you like the this version of Rumple still skin. Okay. So let me, these are how, yeah, mm -hmm. how the fucking rumors are starting. Holy shit. God, your eyes creep me the fuck out.
Mitsu, don't do this. baby, you're just so far gone. Your brother about to kick your motherfucking ass. Oh, the Makoto now gets a fan fix are coming alive right now. I can't. Right, no, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs>
better keep the fuck out of that camera. Ugh. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking cry again. Why the fuck did you do that to me? Oh my god, like, no, man. Mm -mm. I wasn't ready for that. They're so fucking cute together, though. Oh my god. He'll be missed, even though he was just a one off character for this episode, but. Ugh. <coughs> Excuse me. I can't even imagine how, like, in the manga he could be, like, it could have possibly just been a one-off as well, but it was nice to just see how he was created into a roar and everything. Because ever since episode one, and I, I didn't know, I never really truly said it, but like in the back of my mind, I kept wondering. I was like, are they ever really going to truly show us how it's created? And fucking, Hanako's brother comes in, and it's, I can't, I mean, he a little shit, I mean, we all know Hanako's moving, is, he a little shit sometimes, but his brother, like, oof, that's like a whole nother, like, story in a nutshell. <laughs> He's also fucking cute together. Like, oh my god, just showing that like in a little preview. I ship them. Like, oh my god. Seriously, this week for Boys Love has been like just so good. Between this episode and even though it's like a it's more of a friendship rather than like a love, but just the way that I felt, it just felt like a boys love to me. Um but between this and Sussed on Academy, like, Sussed on Academy was way, like, funnier with it, while this was just warm and sweet, but still sad at the same time. And the fact is that he will, you know, Cole will still have something of needs to just to remember him by. And, I mean, it's the biggest question that we've all, you know, wondered till today. Like, is there really, truly life after death? And, um... With, for a ghost or a spirit, I mean, the way Hanako just, like, answered it, it, it makes me, like, still wonder even till today, like, for a spirit, it seems like there isn't, but it, it's really, truly what you believe in, like, in my opinion, I feel like there is something after death when it's over, because it's just a new chapter for you, you may, um, come back as something, you never know, I can't, I really don't imagine. That's something, it's a big discussion about that. I mean, a really big one because, you know, everybody's views and um, opinions and discussions on it are very different from 
so many different people, but that's like a conversation for almost like for another day to possibly have. But yeah, I mean, this episode was really good. I was not really expecting to cry with this episode. I was expecting it to just be a really nice, happy, warm episode with a little bit of a bad thing to happen. But um, I was assuming that we were going to end this episode like more or less on a cliffhanger and then we would have gotten to see the rest of the stuff that happened in this episode the following week. But I'm glad that we were able to see Mitsu, you know, learn about his life, like what basically happened to him up until his spirit's death. And who knows? I, I kind of wish like what this show did for some of the parents, some of the spirits, not all of them. The ones who necessarily don't make it out and who are still either around the school, haunting the school or whatever. What basically happens to them? Yeah, they die, but then it's like you're wondering, do they possibly go somewhere? Are they still in the hearts of others? Because for Mitsuba, he's still in Ko's heart, but you just never really truly know for anyone else. And even for our loved ones today, you know, you just really want to know, like, where do they possibly go? Are they still, <clears throat> excuse me, um, around us till this day. You just really, it's, you never really truly know. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 8 of Toilet About Hanako Kun. <clears throat> if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you. Okay. So I'm not really going to say Thursdays anymore because of the fact is, yes, it's still, it, it's coming out a little bit later. And like by the time I get it, it's usually, um, I usually watch it like 10 o'clock at night and I'm usually busy and stuff. So, um, I will see you guys all next Friday morning for episode nine. But yeah, until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.